What's up, it's Jared from Vandalistic and Vogs, and today, today, we're gonna do a little video called Jared has no job and needs to feel productive. So, behind me, we've got a door, sans a door handle. And um, I'm gonna do my best to ignore that. Put this door handle, this locking mechanism, together. And um, to be fair, uh, both Simone and I have tried this previously, probably about two and a half years ago, and uh, that's, that's what we're working with. Anyway, let's give it a go and see what we can do. Right, so it seems fairly straightforward. Uh, this little bit, which is the locking mechanism, put that little bit on the end, that obviously goes in through here, and that's screwed into place. Um, and then we're obviously adding the door handles either side of that. So I realized that we're having some kind of like rolling lines and that's because in the garage here we've got fluorescent tube and they produce a kind of like a rolling effect because they're not actually a constant steady light. Whereas my studio lights, which I've got set one over there and one behind me, um, they are pretty much constant. So uh, let's give this a go. I'm hoping to just like throw it in there and it for some reason just works. But It goes in and it all seems like normal. The door handle on the other side won't turn. Neither of them really turn, unless I'm doing that wrong. And... Oh, I was doing that wrong. Hello, I was doing that wrong the whole time. I didn't put this off for two and a half years because I'm an idiot. Give me two seconds and we'll have a finished door. One thing that I didn't quite uh, understand or for, I didn't notice was that inside here, we have two little screws, well, long screws actually, here's the first one, I've already pulled that one out, um, and they go through both ends of the door handle. So, let's pull those out, and then probably have to like finger tighten this in because once you've got, like you can see here, here's the other end of that, well, the other side to that door handle, this thing, it's twin. That screw has to go through there and then obviously screw into this little port here. So I don't really have anything that will fit down in there except maybe like I've got a, I've got a, what do you call, really small screwdriver sets. What are they called? Precision tool set. So maybe that'll be the go. See what happens. All right. Well, my next job may not be Handyman or Tim the Toolman Taylor. Boom! We got a door handle, baby. Solid as. Does that stuff. Uh, now, there is a problem that this whole uh, door frame uh, was actually built after the fact. Um, so, this originally didn't have a security door and a regular door, it just had one regular door. Um, so this door doesn't really fit um, kind of as freely as you might want it to. Um, and it really has to be locked with this lock, the deadbolt lock, even though the, it, this is working. So let's tilt that down here and see if you can see. So this is free turning, then I turn that. And it definitely doesn't do that. But because back here, um, where the the bolt part is supposed to go into the door, doesn't doesn't really go in there. So I mean, we're we're most of the way there, to be honest. Um, that's literally all I'm going to do with that, to be honest. <laughs> that's uh, that's further than we've got in almost three years. Um, but at least that's functional, so I can put that there. Um, and then with my regular keys, which are in my pocket, then we can lock that door. Which is not going anywhere. So, I'd call that a job done. Not well done, not partially done, finished. Just could be finished a little bit better. Anyway, I'm going back to get onto the job hunt. Nothing lucrative so far. 
God bless. Look after each other, and I'll see you in the next video, whenever the heck that might be. Oh, actually, let's throw in some uh, slow motion just because I've got a camera that does really good slow motion. Bye!